Wow, look at those beasts. As you can see, I finished the medium-sized Wolverine. Very happy with it. I love it. What I don't love is that I didn't make the angle on the chopping section aggressive enough, so I need to bring it this way. So that's the not-so-good news. The good news, though, is that since it isn't what I want, I'm willing to beat the crap out of it and put it through some things that I wouldn't want to on a particularly pretty knife. Plus, there's some other things that I'm not really keen about. On the other side, I'm not even going to show you. I tried to, I tried to inscribe or mark that trigonometry function device where you put a wire down and you can measure the angle by holding the wire at the, the angle that you look at at this site. And I massacred it. I butchered it so it looks terrible. So I'm really actually, <laughs> I'm really embarrassed about that. I'm not even going to show you because it's ridiculous. Which is really too bad because this is a beautiful knife. Maybe I could Duracoat it or something, but no, I think instead that I'll just beat the crap out of it. Just really put it through its paces, see what it's made of, and that'll give me a good gauge for the ones that I am going to keep. Here's the sheath I made. I like it. What do you think? I think it looks pretty mean. That's a leg strap. That's leather from my Swedish Army pants that I didn't like on there on the pant legs, the cuffs. So that can strap around my leg so it doesn't flop all over. And that's a lifting strap that I found in the garbage. I riveted it to the back of the sheath. The sheath is made of plastic, rain barrel well not rain barrel, but barrel plastic, so it's really tough, really hard. It's a friction fit. I don't know if this is the best design for it, but it it is a sheath. It is nice and secure anyway, it's safe. I riveted it together. To lock it in, the best mechanism I have for locking in it, it in so far is this piece of paracord. A little bit awkward but it does lock it in so that it can't come out this way. It's kind of like molly attachments on the back in that I've riveted in three sections and you can put a belt through. So this could hang on a, a backpack, inverted, a backpack strap. Uh, it could be mounted on your back horizontally, I guess. I'm not a big fan of that myself and it could be high on the belt, like there, or it can be slung low on the belt, like that. This is my primary design, so it's not re exactly what I want. I'm just tinkering here, same as the knife itself, so I'll make some improvements. I've added a fire striker there. I'm sure I can do better than that. And I will also be adding a speedy sharp sharpener that will fold out. It's just a piece of metal carbide on a, a piece of metal. And I can rivet it on and just pivot it out when I need to sharpen any any blade, even the inside radius of this, which I did cut teeth into. That's supposed to be for bone, so I'll have to try that. I don't have any pieces of bone laying around to try, so I don't know where I'm going to try that or how, but whatever. I like that on the back of the sheath, the strap is yellow, because if it were a more brilliant color, like this type of yellow or an orange, safety orange or something like that, then it'd be an excellent signaling device on the back. So all in all, it's a, it's a great knife, and I'm looking forward to my next version of it. I'm actually going to have a friend burn something into the handle, and I might sell one or two of these. He burned this, just for example, and I might sell one or two of these, so stay tuned, 